I feel sharper, I feel sharper. I feel come to and soothe him. I feel sharper, come to and be. Happy holidays, guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Zone. If you are a new subscriber, I want to say thank you and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be making guess what? I'm going to be making Ghana Twazafi, which is also known as Diewo, okay? Um, in Kumasi, the it Kumasi, it's Diewo. like... What? Diewo. Stephen, please. <laughs> <laughs> Diewo, Twazafi, mm. TZ, um, which is like a local um, staple food. It originated from the um, Muslim or the Hausa tribe. And so it is enjoyed by like um, almost like all Ghanaians, okay? And it's very simple to make. Okay, don't try to make it complicated. So, to I'm going to start make. I'm going to start with two things. I'm going to be making the sauce for the um, for the tuzafi and also the um, the green soup, which is called ayoyo. Okay, um, we have two kinds of soups that you can eat with your tuzafi. We have the ayoyo and we have kubewa gusheshe. Okay, kubewa gusheshe is like. So um, again. Kubewa gusheshe, okay? Uh, it's a Muslim, it's a, uh, the house of people will understand. It's made from, it's made from, they um, sort of pound and it's a, lo a lot of process, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to be making the ayoyo, which is the most popular soup um, that goes with your tozafi. And I'm going to be using um, jute leaf, and it's already, and it's already, it's already, so I don't have to worry about it. And I have mine to make my sauce, okay? To make my sauce, I have tomatoes, onions, peppers, and um, a small clove of garlic. I have tomato sauce as well. And I have um, fish that I blended, dried fish. And uh, and uh, if my Ghanaians are like, what the hell? This is the fish. It's called what, herring. I'm an insisal. I'm an insisal. This and also making shito. So I have this leftover to be making my shito with. I have my Maggi, I have I have my Maggi here. I have um Bedia all season spice. I have my moringa in here. I have cumin. Uh, yeah, I have my cumin in here as well. And I have salt to taste. And so let's get started. And don't forget to make your sauce also, you need your meat. I have what I call here my version of assorted meat. I have um stripes in here, I have good meat, and I have liver, okay. So I cooked it, and to cook the um, my meat, what I did was I, ha um, I I put sliced up onions on top of it. I blended um, half a size of medium onions and garlic, and I spread. I put a blended um, mixture on there. I added beef stock, okay, beef bouillon, beef stock to it, salt to taste, and also a little bit of bedia seasoning spice and a little bit of um, garlic powder. Okay, and that was how I cooked the meat. It was really good. And so let's get started. So to start this, I'm going to start making my sauce, okay? First of all, I'm going to start making my sauce. I'm going to blend my onions. I'm going to add my sauce um, to my palm oil here, okay? And I have half a cup of palm oil. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the tomatoes. 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 So this is all. So this is how we're just going to let this sit um, and cook, or I would say simmer down, okay? So guys, I'm going to add, I have half a cup of hot water in my pot. And so I'm going to add the jute, the minced jute leaf or the ayoyo okay i'm going to add it to mine look at how thick this thing is so slimy so i bought dawa dawa right and normally when you make the ayoyo they add dawa dawa but it and and it's really really <laughs> Stinky smell. I don't know what is. I don't know what dawadawa is made um, from. If you know it, let me know. But 
they always add it to ayoyo okay it's like the secret ingredient and so here they had it in a powdered form they have like organic um dawa dawa in a powdered form so i bought it so i'm just going to add like half a teaspoon to it and then mix it in here so if you can make this soup to um, your desired consistency, okay? But normally, this is the consistency you're looking for. You don't want it too watery because a little bit goes a long way. And I have the fish um, that I blended in a blender. So I am going to, um, this is like optional, okay? You don't have, do I have to have this Stella? No. But this is home chow, okay? This is going to be eaten at home. So I like to add my own twist to it. So I'm going to add that in there. And my sister is like, oh my goodness, hurry up and be done already because I can't wait. So I'm just mixing this into the ayoyo or the jupe leaf soup. Alright, so guys, after putting my dawa dawa and my um fish in the ayoyo, right? I I am going to bring the heat down to about two and let it sit and cook nicely for about I would say five to seven more minutes. And I'll take it off the stove because this is not like the raw um, leaf where you have to cook and wait for it to be done. Since it's mine, it was in the fridge. It was. It, it looks like already cooking it is a hassle. Is hassle free? Okay. It slashes the cook time in half. So I'm just going to let this cook. I did not add any salt. Okay. Do not add any salt to it. It's like cooking to make your okra soup when you cook the okra you don't add salt because adding the salt is going to alter this the sliminess okay the level of sliminess of the ayoyo and you don't want that so yep that is it moving on the sauce is cooking nicely i am going to be adding my meat my ayoyo uh, green soup is done okay ayoyo green jute jute leaf soup is done okay so i'm going to add my meat to my sauce and the meat is not when they make the um, sauce the meat they do not fry the meat okay so as you guys can see I have my strides I have my liver and my goat meat okay so one tip with the goat meat okay so if you have if you buy the goat meat with the burnt um, skin on make sure you scrape um, with your knife just put the goat meat in water and then scrape the burnt part off okay don't cook it with the burnt part on just scrape it off all right, Ghanians, my Ghanian sisters. <laughs> hey, me na me tawo, me na me bra bwo. Yeah, punch number two, 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 two. So the last um thing I'm going to add to my sauce is my spices, okay? Which is my um cumin, my maggi, my moringa. Uh, what else do I have in here? My bedia seasoned spice, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and then just add this. I think I'm going to add a little bit more palm oil and then it should be good to go. All right, other than that, that will be it for the um, the sauce and the soup, okay? So I hope you enjoyed um, the, making this recipe with me. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment sections. If you have any suggestions, I want to know how you make your tozafi as well, okay? This is the sauce part. The tozafi self, the dough part is coming, all right? So guys, stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so because that's the only way you get updates whenever I post a new video. I will also, if you have any recipes, I'm, wor I'm working on making all the recipes that people have requested. All right, guys. So like, comment, subscribe, share. Until we meet again right here on Stellar Zone. Have a wonderful day. Have a blessed holiday. And I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support, guys. Okay.